Uh, oh, I gotta put on my uni for this. Yeah, yeah. Hey, who you with? I'm with the team to be the champ by any means. Hey, what we do? We win together. Win together. Too many rings. Too many rings. Who do it better? Yeah. Running and running and running and running and running and running. We won't stop. Competition got a mole lot. Shut them down. Open up shop. Yeah, up 20 with the top spot. This week on Glory Pro Wrestling Ascend, it all comes down to this. After Dak Draper turned his back on Xavier Walker and cost him the crown of Glory Championship, it's time for revenge. Walker and Draper in a street fight. But we'll open up with Cody Lane taking on the debuting Luke Curtis. The Southern Flamingo looks to continue his rise while Luke Curtis looks to make a statement in his first match in Glory Pro. As we head outside the building for a little bit of footage earlier on today, the Gateway Center in Collinsville, Illinois. And that can only be one man stepping out of the car. Xavier Walker is here. The months of frustration about to all bubble to the surface. He and Dak Draper one on one in a street fight. Oh, I gotta put on my uni for this. Yeah, yeah. Hey, who you with? I'm with the team to be the champ by any means. Hey, what we do? We win together. Too many rings. Who do it better? This contest is set for one fall. Introducing first from Miami, Florida. The Southern Flamingo, Cody Lane, one-on-one -on -one with one half of the Overmen, the current OVW Southern Tag Team Champions. This should be quite the confrontation. Luke Curtis said to Cody Lane, this is my house. And this is one heck of a way to open up this week on Glory Pro Wrestling Ascend as the Southern Flamingo looks to continue his run here in Glory Pro Wrestling as he zones in his sights on the crown of glory championship. Cody Lane wants gold, and I've said for a long time, it's just a matter of time until it sits around the waist of the Southern Flamingo. Beautiful venue, the Gateway Center here in Collinsville, Illinois, just across the Mississippi River from our regular home in St. Louis. And look out for the backside. Oh, you had to be able to see that coming. Luke Curtis comes flying in at Cody Lane and immediately putting the boots to him. Luke Curtis saying, this is my house, and I think there's a whole lot of folks at the Gateway Center who disagree with that assessment. Curtis with the wrist of Cody Lane. Lane reverses, snaps him through on the head scissors. And how about the fan reaction for the Southern Flamingo? All of a sudden, the Glory Pro crowd is getting in behind Cody Lane. Luke Curtis off the ropes and out of the corner. Cody Lane takes him down with the clothesline. Lane sets him up again. Curtis hits the ropes. Boom, all over the back. High elevation on the backdrop for the Southern Flamingo. And Curtis hit the buckles hard that time, and uh-oh. Curtis jumped this matchup. He didn't even let uh, Cody Lane get the pink denim off. 
Lane off the ropes, watch out. He'll slide through, he's looking for that drop kick. Landed on his feet, blocks Curtis on the floor. Hooks him in. Cody Lane is just so talented. Back suplex right to where Wood meets Steele on the ring apron. Lane slides his way back in, a little bit unorthodox, and there you can see why they call him Daddy Longlegs with that boot. Lane has Curtis rocking all the way around. And Luke Curtis will cut him off. The man known as Certified. He's cut off by the Flamingo. And into the buckles goes the head of Luke Curtis, off the ropes. He'll hang on, Lane charges, boot from Curtis comes up. Lane comes flying in. Oh, and Curtis hung him out over the top rope. That got right into the side of Cody Lane that dug right into the body. I mean, there is not a lot to those. Those are cables covered in essentially tape. Steel cables that are not exactly forgiving when you land on them that way. Cody Lane from the corner, sent off. Luke Curtis fires him into the buckles, and Lane might have moved the ring six inches. And Luke Curtis reminding the Collinsville crowd that he is certified as Lane making his way back to his feet. And Curtis having all kinds of trouble with the Glory Pro fans. Oh, Cody Lane ducks out of the way of the knife edge, and he'll light up Curtis. And again, and you can hear those slam all the way back to Savannah. Make it three as Curtis's chest is caving in. Cody Lane pulling Luke Curtis out of the corner. Curtis, oh, he went to the throat. Went to the throat on Cody Lane. Now he's gonna send the Southern Flamingo to the floor. Oh, and Lane jammed his ankle on the way through. That's a big problem for Cody Lane. If he doesn't have that base, if he doesn't have use of those talented feet. The old saying, one went to Harvard, one went to Yale, it applies for Cody Lane. As Luke Curtis sends him into the rail on the outside, count being put in. It's up to five as Lane trying to work that ankle out. You hope it's not something like a dislocation or a sprain. If it is, he might have trouble making this count up to eight. Luke Curtis is gonna get a win here in his debut. The count is at nine, Cody Lane, he dives back in to save it. But he dove right back into Luke Curtis's knee. Count of one, two, and he's not gonna get Cody Lane without hooking a leg. And now Luke Curtis up in the face of our official. Yeah, Cody Lane is still working on his own ankle. There is a big problem with the ankle right now of Cody Lane. And Luke Curtis is making it even worse into a rear chin lock. It says tap out to Cody. You're not going to get Cody Lane to tap out to this. Cody Lane's arm drops, though. You might put him to sleep with it. Two down. Cody Lane's in trouble. No. Lane stays alive. Lane trying to fight his way back to his feet. Jawbreaker. Curtis rocked. Lane able to get himself to a seated position in the corner. Oh, he tripped Curtis on the way in. Face off the buckle. Cody Lane goes down to the knee. Lane again. Shotgun drop kick while he was on his knees. And how did he do that on one leg? Cody Lane up to his feet, flies in, up and over the top. Curtis, caught. Lane nailed him, walking in. Slingshot, sent on. Hook on the outside leg, count of one, two, and no. Luke Curtis able to escape. How about the resiliency of Cody Lane? It looked like he was working on one leg. Cody Lane, you can see on the back of the trunks, his friends call him Coco. That's the Southern Flamingo. This could be all right here. No, back into the corner. Luke Curtis driving the shoulder into the midsection of Cody Lane. And now just trying to run him right through the buckles. 
Curtis stalks his way back in. Lane caught him coming in. Oh, that double stomp. Cody Lane. Belly to back. Curtis lands on his feet. Nicely done. Duck underneath the clothesline. Lane elevates. Curtis caught him. Saw that maybe one too many times. And now the knee exposed. The knee pad down. Curtis flies in with the knee. Lane's out. Lane's out. Count of two. Huge. No. Oh, I thought it was going to be a massive win for Luke Curtis. How did Cody Lane survive right there? Luke Curtis stalking around the ring. What has he got in mind? Of course, tonight, folks, on Ascend, we see it all come to a head. The street fight is our main event. Xavier Walker and Dak Draper. The two biggest men in glory pro wrestling. Nose to nose with no rules. Luke Curtis from all the way up top, diving headbutt. No water in the pool. How about this? The fans getting behind Cody Lane. Lane tries for that step up moonsault. On again, lands hard, and that leg, there's not a whole lot left in it. Roll up from the backside just to count of two. Curtis, Maestro Cradle. Oh, Cody Lane caught him. Hung on. Two and a half. Lane charges. Curtis on the goal behind. Lane not able to hang on. Curtis rolls him up, count of two. Lane shot him off. Curtis rolls his way through. Oh, Lane rolled all the way around. Pile driver on the snap. Hook of the leg, count of one, two, forget about it. What a counter by Cody Lane as he rolled himself all the way through into that snap pile driver position. And when Cody Lane hits that, Coco's going to the pay window, baby. Oh, look at it. He's got me calling him that now for crying out loud. Cody Lane picks up an impressive W to open up this week on Ascend. The Flamingo keeps on rising. Gold is in that man's future. Street Fight main event is coming up. We start with fresh shredded lettuce. Add in thin sliced local tomatoes. Every sandwich gets topped with our secret recipe sauce, cage sauce. All these elements top our steakhouse quality beef and American cheese to create the chopped cheese, a standard above the rest, only from Central State Sandwiches. Quality. If you're into music from the 80s and 90s, classic arcade games, hanging out at the mall, watching cult classic movies from the 80s on VHS, if any of this stuff is up your alley, I've got the podcast for you. America's Pop Culture Trivia Show with Joe Parisi. Each episode features 21 fast-paced pop culture trivia questions with an 80s and 90s focus. Over 150 episodes are available right now wherever you get your podcasts. Check in in the back. Preparations underway. Xavier Walker getting instructions from one of our Glory Pro Wrestling officials. You see him taping up that right hand. If he lands that in the street fight, revenge could be his. Main event's coming up. Jake something! Jake something interrupts the celebration and Jake something over on Warhorse. He's trying to obliterate this man. Jake has a hold of Warhorse, sends him into the cage. And Jake something is just going at everybody. Warhorse up to the shoulders of Jake something. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Warhorse has already been through a hellacious cage match. F5. Warhorse in his moment of glory has been left laying and Jake Something climbs to the top of the cage. Jake Something hoisting Warhorse up. Power bomb. That is a sick individual. 
Jake something has completely lost his mind. As one chapter closes, another opens. This is going to be a fight! Topic on Hero! Wow, Wars! It's out of the gates hot! Oh, good Lord! And Choke slams him nearly all the way through the mat! Jake over the head of Warhorse! Are you kidding? A casket match. The object, stick your opponent and metaphorically kill their career. Oh, not over! It's not over! All the way up! No, 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 no! Georges! War Horse was out of the way! Goes up! Choke slam! The lid shuts! A path of destruction left in his wake. Jake something stands supreme. Here we go. And does that man look ready or what? Xavier Walker striding his way out towards the ring at the Gateway Center here in Collinsville. It's time for him to have a shot at revenge. So much anger, so much hatred for the man who's gonna stand across from him, Dak Draper. That street fight, Your Glory Pro Wrestling Ascend main event is coming up next. Oh, I gotta put on my uni for this. Yeah, yeah. Hey, who you with? I'm with the team to be the champ by any means. Hey, what we do? We win together. Too many rings. Who do it better? There is the man. Big Flexi, Xavier Walker. Months and months of frustration for Xavier Walker are about to come to a head. Dak Draper turned his back on him when Xavier Walker asked him for help and then cost him the crown of glory championship after a payoff from Cinco. You saw that right here on Ascent. And in their first meeting, Dak Draper stole a pinfall after going low on the big man. And is this really happening right now? Dak Draper maybe trying to play some mind games with Xavier Walker? I can't say too much, Nickelback, of course, from uh, about an hour from my hometown. This is uh, not exactly what I would expect from the Mile High Magnum. The man who is referred to himself as Magnum DD. The man who is there when you need a job done. It's all about the money for Dak Draper. He turned his back on Xavier Walker to stand alone, then took the money from Cinco to cost Xavier Walker the Crown of Glory Championship and stole a victory. And at the end of the day, Xavier Walker just wasn't gonna let it go. So now Dak Draper, this might be his worst nightmare. 
He's got to step in under street fight rules against Xavier Walker. And I think this is all about the mind games right now. He's trying to throw Xavier Walker off, and I don't even think he's coming close. As Draper taking his time to step into the squared circle. And forget about intros! We're going right to the floor! Knife edge shot by Xavier Walker! Big flex, he wasted no time, and I didn't expect him to! So the only rule, you have to win by pinfall or submission inside the ring. But they can fight all over Collinsville. Heck, they can fight right back across the Mississippi River as long as the match ends inside the ring. As Xavier Walker batters Dak Draper. I mean, we could be here for days. As Draper run right into the ring apron. And Xavier Walker's gonna pull it all out right here. We know from his history, Xavier Walker can reach into that bag of tricks. He's not above pushing the rules to their very breaking point. He's got that in him. Dak Draper charges as Walker getting into the ring and Draper had to do something to turn the momentum around. That's not gonna do it as Walker just flips him right over the top. Xavier Walker had Calvin Tank been beat. He had the Crown of Glory Championship in his hands. He had survived the attacks of the crew in the matchup, only to have Draper steal it away from him. And right now, all of that is coming out. Walker hammering down to the back of Dak Draper on the floor. And Xavier Walker is taking his time. He is enjoying this. And I can't blame him as he rings Draper into the ring post. Whoa, they heard that all the way back up in Fort Collins, Colorado. There are football players at Colorado State who just went, anybody hear that? And a chair being injected into the ring. Make it two. Xavier Walker has got a plundering, baby. In the words of the great Dusty Rhodes. I was a WCW Saturday Night guy. What do you want from me? Xavier Walker around the side of the ring. And he's got the garbage can in hand. And if I'm Dak Draper, I don't think I like where this is going. Ow. He just caved in the side of the garbage can. Uh-oh. Ben, get out of the way. Xavier Walker is just throwing furniture around the building. Xavier Walker moving specialists. He doesn't just take it out of the truck, he'll throw it. And he's gonna throw Dak Draper. Oh, Draper counters him. And now right into the ring post goes the head of Xavier Walker. Maybe a little bit too much time getting everything set up. And Dak Draper rolling Walker back into the ring. Although that may not be the safest place for either one of them right now. Draper with the steel chair in hand goes downstairs and uh-oh, labels him across the back. You see the swing from Dak Draper? All six foot six of the giant hammering into the back of Xavier Walker. They are the two biggest men in glory pro wrestling. They both go about six and a half feet. <laughs> You're looking at Draper at 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, Xavier Walker, 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, and Draper is stepping out to the floor with the lead and ringing it off the head of Walker. And now Dak Draper is taking Everything control of this matchup. Fight, and Draper, of course, giving it to our ringsiders. Not necessary, but he'll do it anyway as he dings Walker again. 
There's nothing the official can do about any of this other than count a pinfall or accept a submission. Draper tossing that garbage can lid right back into the ring. And he's still giving it to the crowd. Draper, hoist Walker. And he's gonna send him right into the ring apron in the lower back. Well, that'll rearrange the spine, rearrange the hips. And after that chair clattered off the back of Xavier Walker, just making things a whole lot worse. Trying to take the power base away from Big Flexi, and that Draper better keep his eyes in the ring as opposed to on the fans around the ring. That's why Walker downstairs with the boot. Oh, Draper cut him off and then clubs him to the back of the neck. And Draper stalking at Walker. Draper again with garbage can lid in hand. What is he gonna do here? Pulling Walker up in the corner. Back elbow strike lands. Draper's got something in mind. Coming off the top rope. Wow, right hand of God right through that trash can lid. Oh, Xavier Walker just uncorked. That did not look like a good idea from its beginning and it wound up horrible if you're Dak Draper. Xavier Walker, he's always got that right hand to, oh. Hot shot right over the top rope. Lays the throat of Xavier Walker right across that steel cable. And uh-oh, Dak Draper again, hearing it about the hairstyle. And the fans are just giving it to Dak Draper. And you know what, the fans are really helping Xavier Walker out here because they're giving him time to get his bearings back. Walker looked to have turned this match around with that vicious right hand. Gut wrench position. Wow, look at the strength of Dak Draper. Oh, Walker down the backside. Caught the boot. Right hand jab from Draper lands. Draper now seats Walker in the chair. Oh, knife edge chop and the angle on that. I don't that. need a weapon, because being Dak Draper, being Magnum GD, that, that, it's a weapon! Well, it's hard to argue with him right now saying he is the weapon. At that size, with that kind of strength and agility, whether you like him or not, Dak Draper is a problem. What is he doing with the belt? And, and somebody called Dan the Dad. Dak Draper wrapping that leather belt around his fist and oh. He'll go to the top of the head, and a second time, as he just pounds away on Xavier Walker. Out to the floor goes Draper. He'll take a look under the ring. And now Draper with, that's not a folding chair. He let that out to the floor, oh! And in the confusion, it gave Walker an opening. Drop toehold into the chair. Oh, Xavier Walker just lit him up. Walker gets back, Walker backs Draper into the buckles. Oh, Walker's charge went right through the steel chair. Dak Draper almost lured him in, nearly suckered him into that one. Draper right back to control. Walker's had a couple of windows, a couple of moments where he started to get things going his way only to have it immediately turn. And what has Dak Draper got in mind here? Two chairs sat together seat to seat. Xavier Walker. Back to his feet as Draper still having trouble with the fans. Though now turns, gut wrench position. 
Gut wrench power bomb through the chairs. Oh, that's got to be all. Count it to a no. How did Xavier Walker kick out of that? Gut wrench power bomb straight through the chairs. He buckled both of those chairs. Oh, this would be a very bad decision by Dak Draper to go after our official. And now Draper, he's got another belt. You think Alex Strand's belt? Yeah. Oh, downstairs goes Walker. Remember what I told you. He will bend the rules to the point of breaking, and other than the match having an end in the ring, there are no rules. And I think Big Flexi is about to take his belt off and put the smackdown on somebody. Oh! He's gonna light him up! They're gonna hear that crack all the way back to Flint, Michigan! Dak Draper getting strangled with the belt as Xavier Walker sends him into the top buckle and right back to the other side. Walker tosses him over the top into the floor. And Xavier Walker right now taking out all the frustrations. Walker with that garbage can lid. He's lining him up. Draper up to his feet. Look out! Back, 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 back. Gone! Do the Detroit Tigers need a number four hitter? Xavier Walker set. Guzzo onto the ring apron. Chiropractic adjustment to Mr. Draper, please. Wow. And just like that, Xavier Walker has completely turned this match around. And now back to what he wanted earlier. Walker was the first man to try to inject this table. And it's coming in now. And I think he knows exactly what he wants to do with it. Choke slam through the table, perhaps? Oh, wait a minute. The garbage can coming back as well. I don't know what those two have to do with one another, and I don't know that Dak Draper wants to find out. Oh, Walker boots him with it. Draper tried to charge with that garbage can, and he paid the price. Table being set. He'll flip that table up onto its legs. And what in the world have we got here? I believe it's about to be choke slam time. Oh, knife edge chop as he returns a favor from earlier. Draper going head first into the table. And Walker battering Draper across that table. Walker taking his time. Where is he going? That's a long way up for the big fella. All the way into the high risk district. Draper starting to stir. Oh! Draper goes low. And now, Dak Draper standing on the second rope on the inside. Belly to back through the table. They both go crashing through. I'm not even sure who got the worst of that. Draper rolls over. Count of one, two, and Walker kicks out. It's going to take more than that to put Xavier Walker away. Oh, Dak Draper, he got the worst of it. Look at the gash on the shoulder from going through that table.
Draper over to get a chair. Xavier Walker just took his chain off. Walker wears that big chain around his neck. Draper up to his feet. Wheeled, oh man, look at the gash on that arm. From his shoulder right back to the shoulder blade. Oh, Walker cracked him! Right hand with the chain! Forget about it, cut it to, it's done! Sweet revenge for Xavier Walker! Walker has slayed this dragon! After Jack Draper turned his back on Xavier Walker, after he cost him the title, after he picked up a cheap victory, Xavier Walker had to slay this dragon. He had to exercise this demon. He's done exactly that. And now, does Xavier Walker set his sights right back to the crown of glory and that long list of challengers that are lining up for Calvin Tankman and the crew. There is unfinished business with Xavier Walker and Calvin Tankman. Will that be what's on tap? As Walker pulls his way to his feet to accept the adulation of the Collinsville crowd. Xavier Walker stands at the end of this street fight. And Dak Draper is going to have to go and lick the wounds. What a victory for Big Flexi. The only unfinished business that remains. If I'm the crew, I'd be awfully scared about this man coming looking for you. Xavier Walker picks up the win. We'll catch you next week right back here on Ascend. Hey, who you with? I'm with the team.